Serotonin syndrome is a potentially life-threatening condition caused by excessive serotonin activity in the central nervous system. This condition arises when there is an overstimulation of serotonin receptors, leading to a range of symptoms that can vary in severity. Pathophysiology Serotonin, also known as 5-hydroxytryptamine, is a neurotransmitter that plays a key role in regulating mood, body temperature, and various autonomic functions. Serotonin syndrome occurs when there is excessive stimulation of postsynaptic serotonin receptors, particularly the 5-HT1A and 5-HT2A receptors. This overstimulation disrupts normal cognitive, autonomic, and neuromuscular functions, resulting in a triad of symptoms that characterize the syndrome. Etiology the most common cause of serotonin syndrome is the use of medications that increase serotonin levels or enhance its activity in the brain. These medications include several classes of drugs, such as antidepressants like selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, SSRI, serotonin epinephrine reuptake inhibitors, SNRI, monoamine oxidase inhibitors, MAOI, and tricyclic antidepressants. Other medications, such as pain relievers like tramadol and meperidine, as well as over-the-counter drugs like dextromethorphan, can also contribute to the condition. Combining multiple serotonergic drugs or taking doses higher than prescribed significantly increases the risk of developing serotonin syndrome. Approximately 10% of cases occur following an overdose of serotonergic medications. A striking number of drugs and drug combinations have been associated with the serotonin syndrome. These include monoamine oxidase inhibitors, tricyclic antidepressants, SSRIs, opiate analgesics, over-the-counter cough medicines, antibiotics, weight reduction agents, antiemetics, anti-migraine agents, drugs of abuse, and herbal products. The withdrawal of medications has also been associated with the syndrome. The addition of drugs that inhibit cytochrome isoform CYP2D6 and CYP3A4 to therapeutic SSRI regimens has also been associated with serotonin syndrome. Some MAOIs are strongly associated with severe cases of the syndrome, especially when these agents are used in combination with meperidine, dextromethorphan, SSRIs, or methylene dioxymethamphetamine, also known as MDMA or ecstasy. Clinical features. The clinical presentation of serotonin syndrome can vary widely ranging from mild to severe symptoms. Symptoms typically develop within 2 to 24 hours after starting or increasing the dose of a serotonergic medication. The syndrome is characterized by a triad of cognitive, autonomic, and neuromuscular symptoms. Cognitive and behavioral symptoms may include agitation, restlessness, confusion, anxiety, disorientation, and hallucinations. Autonomic symptoms often involve fever, tachycardia, high blood pressure, excessive sweating, diarrhea, and dilated pupils. In severe cases, hyperthermia, where body temperature exceeds 41 degrees Celsius, can occur and is associated with a poor prognosis. Neuromuscular symptoms include overactive reflexes or hyperreflexia, muscle twitching or myoclonus, tremors, muscle rigidity, incoordination, and, in some cases, short-lived generalized seizures. These symptoms can overlap with other conditions, such as neuroleptic malignant syndrome, making diagnosis challenging. Several challenges hinder clinicians' ability to diagnose serotonin syndrome. Clinicians may dismiss symptoms such as tremor with diarrhea or hypertension as inconsequential or unrelated to drug therapy. Anxiety and akathisia may be misattributed to the patient's mental state. Clinicians cannot diagnose a condition of which they are unaware. Even though the serotonin syndrome is not rare and has been identified in patients of all ages. Diagnosis The diagnosis of serotonin syndrome is primarily clinical, based on a thorough patient history, physical examination, and the exclusion of other conditions. There are no specific laboratory tests to confirm the diagnosis. Key diagnostic steps include identifying recent use or dose changes of serotonergic medications and recognizing the triad of cognitive, autonomic, and neuromuscular symptoms. It is important to rule out other conditions that may mimic serotonin syndrome, such as neuroleptic malignant syndrome, rhabdomyolysis, 
and metabolic or psychiatric disorders. Myoclonus and prominent muscle rigidity in the lower extremities are key features that help distinguish serotonin syndrome from other conditions. Treatment The management of serotonin syndrome depends on the severity of the symptoms. The primary intervention is the immediate discontinuation of all serotonergic medications. In most cases, symptoms resolve within 24 hours after stopping the offending agent. Although fluoxetine, due to its long half-life, may require a longer period for symptoms to subside. Supportive care is essential and may include intravenous fluids to maintain hydration, oxygen therapy for respiratory support, and antipyretics to manage fever. Pharmacological management often involves the use of benzodiazepines to control agitation, seizures, and muscle rigidity. Cyproheptadine, a serotonin antagonist, may be administered orally, starting with an initial dose of 12 mg, followed by 2 mg every 2 hours until symptoms improve. However, the clinical efficacy of cyproheptadine remains uncertain. In severe cases, patients may require intensive care, including mechanical ventilation and close monitoring. Approximately 25% of patients with severe symptoms may need endotracheal intubation to support breathing. Complications and Prevention Serotonin syndrome can lead to several complications, particularly in severe cases. These complications may include rhabdomyolysis, a condition where muscle tissue breaks down and releases harmful substances into the bloodstream, metabolic acidosis, and long-term cognitive impairments. Monitoring for these complications is an important part of managing the condition. Prevention of serotonin syndrome involves careful review of a patient's medication regimen to avoid the use of multiple serotonergic drugs. Healthcare providers should use drug interaction databases to assess potential risks before prescribing medications. Patient education is also critical. Patients should be informed about the risks associated with serotonergic medications and the importance of reporting any new or worsening symptoms promptly. Prognosis of serotonin syndrome. With timely recognition and appropriate treatment, most patients with serotonin syndrome recover fully. However, severe cases, particularly those involving hyperthermia or refractory seizures, carry a higher risk of mortality. Long-term outcomes depend on the severity and duration of the syndrome, with more severe cases potentially leading to lasting cognitive or neurological effects. Early intervention is key to improving patient outcomes. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comments section.